We are on Maaser Sheni, Perak Aleph, Mishnah Gimel, third Mishnah in the first chapter of Maaser Sheni. So we've learned in previous Mishnayot that a person can take his Maaser Sheni and transfer the value onto money, take that money to Yerushalayim and buy food. So now we're going to discuss what happens when you buy the food and what, what, like what about the accessories? What about the, you'll see, you'll see what I mean. What about the other stuff that comes along with the food? Says the Mishnah. You use Maaser Sheni and you buy an animal in order to bring a Zevach Shlamim. Bartanura says, This is what Kaddish Baruch wanted a person to do, to buy a Shlamim. Okay? Okay? We learn in the Pasuk, Sham, Sham, you have to eat it there. Gzera Shava from Har Eval. I gotta tell you, I'm not familiar with that Gemara, but just assume the Bartender is correct. It's Gzera Shava. Nonetheless, Chazal learned out that the ideal, the ideal uh, way of using Maaser Sheni was to buy behemot for Shlamim to offer a korban. The korban, the blood, and the and the and the fat was offered on the mizbeach, and then the people would eat the meat for uh, two nights in one day. So that was the ideal use of the money of Maaser Sheni. So you use your money to buy behema of Zivche Shlamim. Oh, chayal bizar ta'ava. Just to, I'll, I'll show you what's a chayal. Let me see if I can find it here. Okay, chayal. We're going to see in the next mission the same thing. Is one. These are kosher chayot. Ayal tzvi yachmur ako dishon to'o and zamar. You can here's even pictures of all of them. Okay, a ram of some kind. Ram. It's a kind of you, a deer. Yeah, el is an ibex, I think. Whatever. The, and perhaps a giraffe. They're not really sure. Giraffe, a zamar. All those are are called chayot. So they're kosher animals, but they're not behemot. They're not sheep. They're not uh, cows, etc., etc. So you, you buy a chayal, the basar ta'ava, in order to eat. Yatsa or lechulin. The skin is not edible. So you use the money of Master Sheni in order to buy something where the part of it is unedible. So do I now have to use the money, the value of the skin, in order to, in, and then use that value to buy other food? The Mishnah says no. Afapisha or miruba ala basar. Even though perhaps the value of the skin is more valuable than the value of the basar. Okay? Nonetheless, we say that, uh, that the idea was you, that skin is part of the animal, and therefore you, you, are, uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to use that money. It's part of the purchase. Just You buy the wrapper. What are you going to do? The skin comes with the animal. Similarly, if I buy closed bottles of, closed jar, um, jugs of wine, in a place where they sell the closed jugs of wine, I'm not just buying the wine, I'm buying the jug. So I'm using, we don't even think about it today, but especially back then, nowadays you buy the bottle, the bottle comes with, uh, you know, the bottle comes with it. That wasn't that way for, for most of, throughout most of history. You wanted to buy wine, you brought your own bottle and they filled it up. You wanted to buy milk, you, the milkman took the bottles back because who would waste bottles? Who would throw things away? Only today do we throw things away. So here too, you bought a jug of, uh, of wine, and you bought it with a jug, so maybe the jug is, is part of the purchase price, and you have to you can't use Maaser Sheni. No, says the Mishnah. Okay, if if you if the, it is in a place or in a situation where they're selling closed jugs of wine, and the jug is part of the sale, the kankan is part of chulin, and the bartender says, you don't have to sell it. So you don't have to sell the jug back and then go buy it. The Bartunura adds something interesting. So remember we said the skin is, is you don't have to sell it back. And you, the skin you don't have to sell. And the, and the kankan you don't have to sell. Mishnah says, Hani mili. The Bartunura says, Hani mili. That's only true. They're normal people. The person who's selling and the person who are buying. All they want, they're normal people. I, I, the animal comes with the skin, but I really want the, I want the flesh. I want, uh, I want the meat. I want the wine. What if I'm a, I'm a, I'm a tanner? Oh, I'm a tanner. Oh, you're a cheres, or I make pottery. Then for sure I care about the skin or the jug. Then we look at it as if I bought the meat and I also bought the skin, each one separately. And I have to sell the skin and then buy other food. Okay, so if you're a tanner, then you don't have to worry about it. Otherwise, you, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, sell the skin for Maaser Sheni. Hayat goes in Vashkedi. My buy nuts or almonds. Yatsu kil peyem lechulin. I also, similarly, I don't have to worry about the shells. The, the shells were valuable. They didn't throw anything away. They used them for whatever. 
Okay, they still those are considered chulin as well. You don't have to sell the shells, and uh, you don't have to sell the shells and buy maser sheni. Okay, hatemid. If I buy mead, ad shelohi chmitz a no nilkach bekesef maser. Until it until it ferments, all it is the bartender explains all it is is it's it's uh, the the leftover schmutz from the wine making process, and I added water. So until it ferments, all it is is flavored water. Water cannot be bought, even though nowadays, like idiots, we all buy bottled water. Water cannot be bought with kesef maser sheni. Water was considered water, not food. So therefore, this meat is just flavored water. So therefore, I can't use the money in order to buy meat until it until it ferments. But if it did ferment, then then it can be bought with kesef and of the maser because then it's considered food. We'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, as always, email me at rspolter at gmail.com. I'll dedicate the, the learning of this Mishnah to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.